Hey friends, in this video, we're going to look and see how we can unpivot data with SQL to take data from its denormalized form and put it into its normal form. Let's get to it. Hello, my name is Austin Leibel and I am a trainer at Pragmatic Works and I teach different technologies like SQL, like Azure, and our team teaches tools like Power BI, Power Platform, and Power Automate. We love to go through, we love to teach people new things about how they can work with technologies maybe they've been working with for some time. Now, in a previous video, I just recently talked about how do you go through and pivot data with SQL. But in this video, we're going to explore a different scenario of taking some data and wanting to unpivot it. Maybe you've received data that is in a denormalized form. You've received data that is from, from some sort of Excel report, and you want to go and get it in its normal form so that you can analyze it a different way or potentially look at it from a different perspective. So I'm going to do this by going through and creating a new table called movie sales. So I'm going to go through and create this table by executing on this command right here to insert, uh, to update this temporary table I'm creating called movie sales with an ID column, a title column, and a couple of years worth of sales data. Now, the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and insert some just sample data into this. I don't even know if these numbers are right, but we're just going to have some idea of some different movie sales over the years. So I'm going to go through and also insert some of these records here. And ultimately, the result that we get out of that when we go through and query that table looks something like this. So again, this might be data that has come into the form of like your database or something like that, or you're trying to do some analysis with, and you want to go in and you want to take this this and get it into its normal form, meaning that is a setup for like rapid inserting of data or set up for uh, essentially fewer uh, columns to have one column for all the sales and be able to rattle up on those different numbers. So how we can do that is by using the unpivot operator. Let's see how that is performed. So number one, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to call this just my like unpivot with my commented out code. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so everyone can see exactly what I'm typing. To begin with, I need to go through and I need to take this data that I'm currently looking at and I need to get the columns right here. These year 2019, year 2020, year 2021, because we're going to unpivot it. Those are now going to be new values on a column that I create as a part of my unpivot statement. So to begin with, I need to specify what are the columns I'm actually interested in looking at on my unpivoted data. So I'm going to say I want to select the movie ID. I also want to go through and select the title. I want to select the year, just the year in general this time, not year 2020 or anything like that, as my sales year. And then I also want to go through and get my sales amount. And that's where my values are going to map to. Now, for my from statement, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do a subquery. And this just means a query inside of a query that allows me to go and call out the specific values from my unpivoted data that I want to work with. So I'm going to have a query that starts with select and also has a from inside of it also. So from my movie sales data, I want to pull over all the columns that I currently have. So movie ID, I need to pull over my title. I want to pull over my year of 2019 year of 2020, and also my year of 2021. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to wrap up my subquery and call this my source. This is where I'm getting the data from. So we see now how we can map that into our values from one to the other. I'm going to wrap this down a little bit further just so we have some more room there. And now what I need to do is go through and perform my unpivot operator. So what this is going to look like, it's going to say unpivot instead of pivot this time. And then it's going to start with an open parenthesis. What am I going to unpivot here? Well, for this new column that I'm making inside of my results, I want to unpivot the sales amount. So I'm going to unpivot the sales amount and get all of those records into a new column, one column called sales amount. And then what am I going to unpivot the sales amount for? for the year column. We're going to call out the years and put those into those values. Now, how are we going to get the years? How are those going to be associated with specific values coming from uh, like the year 2019, the matrix is 100,000 there, right? How do we get that? Well, this is going to include an in list to say for the year of 2019, 
for the year of 2020 and for the year of 2021. All those same records there are going to allow me to do that. And then I'm going to close out my in list with another closing parenthesis, close out my unpivot operator with another closing parenthesis and call this my U pivot table or something like that. So now this is going to be how we can actually perform the unpivot. Now, as well as this, I want to go in and I want to be able to do an order by. So I'm going to add an order by clause here that's going to order by the movie ID first and then the sales year after that. Wrap it all up with a nice semicolon to make sure I've ended my statement. Now, no red squiggly lines or anything like that. We're good to go ahead and execute this. So let's see our results. And there we have it. We have taken that data again in its denormalized form and we have made it normal now so that every single record, movie ID uh, for matrix, uh, year of the matrix and the specific sales amount are able to be looked at. Now I can go through and see all the different years of the uh, movies and see what they look like and filter based on some of these options as well and, and roll up at different levels. So to compare this to what we just had as well, I'm gonna go back and select from the movie sales to see how we did both of these things. Again, we're taking this value right here for the matrix and putting it in a new individual record for every single year of sales for these movies. Now, if you don't like, again, this unpivot operator, there is another alternate way to potentially perform this option. And it's done with essentially using a union all. Union all to unpivot is another way we can go through and have that uh, same look and feel to what we just saw, but maybe not using that unpivot. Maybe just using some additional SQL statements to be able to generate that. I'll type out the first one and I'll just kind of paste from my notes the other one so without spending as much time just writing the same very similar stuff over and over again. But essentially the way we would do that is we would say we want to select from the movie sales. So far, so good. Nothing too different. I want the movie ID. I want the title. I want also the year. Uh, we'll call this specifically the year 2019 as the sales year. So it's like a hard coded value for that column that's going to map to it. And then also the year of 2019 column, we're going to call our sales amount. Now, if I just run this to start with, that's only going to be that one year's worth of data. Maybe that's all you need. That's at least available to you. If you want to go through and combine that query with another one, you can use union all. Union all allows you to go through and use uh, similar queries that have similar structures, so same number of columns, same uh, uh, column names and things like that, but just combine them together without any relationship between them necessarily. So how this would work is I'd have a union all and I would go through and copy this out on my notes over here and then paste a very similar query, select movie ID, title, year 2020, right? All that's changed is the year that we're selecting data from. And we go through and run this again. There it is, just like we saw before. Now I can also go through and do it again one more time with the 2021 data as well. We have all three of these union all statements here. I have to kind of zoom out to get everything on one screen. And then we can go through and run the entire operation and it's all good to go. We got all 30 of our records coming back, just like we saw before, and using basic SQL statements there, but union all as an alternative method. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Hopefully you've seen another awesome capability of taking data from uh, different forms and trying to get it in the form you're really looking forward to working with it at that moment. If you're interested in learning more about SQL, definitely turn out our, our channel, subscribe, make sure you're set up for alerts and everything like that, because we are talking about SQL all the time here. I'm going to have many more videos coming out in the upcoming months, as well as if you want to scale up your knowledge a little quicker and not have to wait for videos, check out our T-SQL bootcamp that we teach. Three days of intense SQL learning. You go from uh, maybe knowing nothing about SQL and scaling up your knowledge really quickly to at the end of it, you're really getting advanced with some of your capabilities and I'm able to walk you through it the whole way. Well, if you're interested, definitely check that out or check out our on-demand learning library as well, where we have tons of SQL content. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one and I will plan to see you in the next one.